With the expected selection of Senator Marco Rubio as Secretary of State, Donald Trump's next administration is coming into clearer view this morning. The two were opponents in 2016 in a primary that turned personal. You know that in Florida, they hate little Marco Rubio so much. But Rubio later became a staunch ally. We are patriots who love America. And this morning, in another key role, CNN reporting that Trump has chosen South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem to run the Department of Homeland Security, according to two people familiar with the selection. Noem, once on the short list to be Trump's running mate before suffering political fallout after revealing in a new book that she shot her own dog. How are you guys? Trump also naming Florida Congressman and former Green Beret Michael Waltz to be National Security Advisor and outspoken ally New York's Elise Stefanik as U.N. Ambassador. All set to play a crucial role advising the president-elect on national security and the ongoing wars in Europe and the Middle East. Trump also naming former New York Congressman Lee Zeldin to lead the EPA. The first 100 days, we, we have the opportunity to, to roll back regulations. All of those picks, save walls, must be confirmed by the Senate, unlike two Trump hires focused on immigration, Tom Homan and Stephen Miller. During Trump's first term, Miller helped engineer the highly controversial ban on travel from several Muslim-majority nations, while he and Homan also played influential roles with the hardline policy that led to the separation of thousands of migrant families at the border. The criminal migrants will go home, and America will be reclaimed for Americans. Now, tomorrow, Donald Trump will travel back to Washington for the first time since his second election victory. He's meeting with President Biden in the Oval Office. But right now, there's no indication that Melania Trump will be joining him for any kind of meeting with the First Lady. And as of yet, there's no meeting announced between incoming Vice President Vance and the woman he and Mr. Trump defeated, Vice President Harris. If they happen, those traditional sit-downs will come at a later date. Savannah. All right, Garrett, and I understand you've also learned more about what the president-elect might do on his first day. Tell us about that. Yeah, Savannah, as with most recent presidents, we can expect a flurry of executive orders. Trump's chief of staff, Susie Wiles, told a group of GOP donors yesterday that Trump would move to reinstate some executive orders from his first term that were reversed by President Biden. That's according to The New York Times, citing sources in the room. Now, Wiles wasn't specific, but those actions could include things like Trump's ban on travel from those Muslim majority nations, actions on climate, on drilling, and of course, on his top priority, sealing the border. With Trump returning to Washington, as a lame duck already on day one, Wiles told those donors they'll have to be prepared to move fast to accomplish his agenda. Savannah. All right, Garrett, thank you.